here and welcome to my channel. Um, remember the uh, tea party folio journal I did the other week? Well, I had so much paper left from Cara's three kits that I've just made a quick one signature journal um, using up all the papers I had left and quite a bit of the ephemera. There is still some more left. Anyway, I've tied this up with an organza ribbon and I've just put a couple of charms, beaded charms I've made on there and then I've used her freebie from the other Friday and done something similar whoops, to what she has um, and we got these tags that went on a ring clip and I've put a little cake charm and then I've used clear embossing powder here very similar to Cara's done there and that just comes with it as a little extra um, this will be available in my Etsy shop this weekend. So there's that. And on the front here, I've got a little bo bottle with some little sparkly sequins in. A couple of bits of lace across the spine. And then down the side here, I have teapot, cake, and a cup and saucer there. And then I've got some beaded charms. I've beaded the middle signature as well. I'll show you when I get to that. Okay, so I've put this on the front page. I thought that was quite lovely. I'm calling this afternoon tea journal. Slightly different to the tea party one. There's the uh, kettle or coffee pot tag here. I've backed everything in either avocado, pink, tea or the uh, blue and green ink stained like this and the pink pages that I've used my old ink cartridges with. bit of lace, friendship, like tea, grows stronger with time. I had that as a stamp I found and I stamped it onto some material. I put a lace trim, page from the kit and I've done some corner punching as well. You can see there and there on some of the pages. I haven't done lots of embellishment. I haven't made things up. I've just literally used the kit um, to use it up. As I say, it, there was so much of it, I ended up getting these two, two journals out of all the pages. There's one of my um, paint sample clusters with a tag. And I've used seam binding on the tags. You can catch that video was last week, I believe. Another pocket and um, a little flower, floral pouch, no, buffet flower with some cheesecloth and another uh, tag and journal card from the kit. I've also done some crackle stamping in the back. Oh, and stamped some uh there some teacups from some stamp kits I found and a muffin there and then there's the cake charm there and I've made some ruffle do you remember the material I used as well um, I had some scraps left over so I've made some ruffles I do like this this is lovely another pocket from the kit with a couple of journal cards and a tag I've just decorated with a bit of lace and again some of the offcuts from the pages I've made tabs for some of the cap, uh, tags. A bit of a cluster on there. I cannot remember where the words come from though. They were a freebie. I do apologise. Some more punching in the corners. A bit of washi tape I had. Um, more pages from the kit. And I made a fabric pocket here with a bit of material left from the kit. Um, and this has got a little teapot on and some of the ephemera I've put onto some of the tags as well and again one of those words from I don't know where I got it from <laughs> that goes in there um, I put a piece of ephemera in the middle of that page another pocket from the kit with two tags and using up some of the material that was on the inside of that folio as well more lace trim and the little teacup down there, whoops, there, 
another ruffle and this was an envelope I made I think it was when I was doing the stacked envelope video and I had some left over so I've just decorated it with some of the ephemera and inside is just a couple of pieces of the ephemera from the kit backed in the ink dyed uh, papers <coughs> excuse me and these little paper clips I've had for a few years um, having moved as you know I've discovered new uh, resources that I've forgotten about these are from my porch prints some more lace and then in the middle here is the two dangles I've made and there's some Shirosky crystals in that little drops and some pearls I took apart I think I've said this before I used to make tiaras and I've taken them apart and I'm using all the crystals from it and um, pearls. Another pocket from the kit and another decorated tag. You get a lot with these three kits. Another ruffle, another of my paint sample tuck spots with a couple of tags I've decorated to go in there. As I say, I've just used things from the kit, not really made anything apart from these two envelopes. And this one was the last bit of paper I had left over, so I made a quick envelope with it. And I put in some of the ephemera left over as well, all backed in there. And again, I've used one of the um, paper clips from my porch prints. They came in lots of different sizes some more lace there lots of journaling space a bit more washi tape this was a belly band I made out of a again one of the last pieces of paper from the same as that envelope same piece of paper and I just put a couple of tags in there like that Oops, under there I've just put the word treasure onto there um, page from the kit and I've backed when I've printed these they some of them have been backed as well as some of the backing sheets another ruffle with a little bit of a cluster on there and then the pocket here that I've put that I've stamped it out twice the friendship like tea grows stronger with time I've put that on using up a last bit of the material and then a couple of the tag a tag and a journal card in there as I say, I've literally used the kit and not really anything else. Because um, even with this, I've used, this is from the kit as well. Another paint sample one and two cards in there. And a bit more stamping with the brackles. A bit more washi, lace trim, and then the last pocket here with... Uh, two cut two a tag and a journal card in there so that is using everything up and that's backing that paper as well there oh and I've reinforced the spine with some material I had so that is the kit there I've used virtually everything now um, I hope you liked it as I say this will be available in my Etsy shop later on this weekend um, Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. It would be great if you would subscribe. It all goes to help my channel grow. Thanks very much and speak to you all soon. Bye.